Can I make this contemporary soft soldered ring with just two drops of solder? Watch and see. My tools and materials are simple. You can get copper wire at a hardware store. You can get basic jewelry making tools at any craft store. I shape my wire around a ring mandrel but if you don't have one, you can improvise and use something else. I'll use a pair of jewelry pliers to gently bend in any pointy ends of wire. To get started with my soldering, I'll use liquid flux with some pliers and some lead-free soft solder. I will quickly bathe the wire in the flux because the solder will not stick to the wire without being coated with flux. I carefully remove it with a pair of pliers and then I could begin to solder. Picking up a nice sized drop of solder, I will hold it against the wire, heating the wire and transferring the solder to the wire, allowing the solder to run down the wire. I'll rotate my project and use my soldering iron to run that solder all around the wire in the inside and out. I'll use a disposable brush to apply more flux to the wire because the heat from the soldering iron makes the flux evaporate. I repeat this process on and off as I'm soldering my project. As I go around coating the wire nearing the end of my project, I am still using the same drop of solder. Now I will allow my project to cool down for a moment or two, then I'll take it over to the sink, clean it up with some soap and water, dry it very well, and then it's time to apply our patina. I'm using a liquid black patina. You will see the patina work like magic as it instantly turns the bright silver a deep black color. I'll soak the project in the patina using a brush to make sure I get in all the spaces between the wires. I'll let it sit for a few minutes and then I will dry it and let it air dry on a paper towel.
when soldering or using chemicals always work in a well ventilated area wear safety glasses and a mask Once my patina is completely dry and my metal has achieved a deep black color, I'll take it over to my sink and rinse it off and dry it with a paper towel. Now it's time to add some polish to bring out some deep shine. Low temp soft soldered jewelry is amazing. It's easy, it's accessible, and it's fun. And all you need is a soldering iron. There is no torch and there is no flame. And I made this ring with only two drops of solder. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out all my jewelry making and craft videos and I'll be back on Friday with something brand new just for you. If there's something particular that you'd like to see in the future, leave a comment below and let me know.